what's up everybody got another video here for you we are gonna do this limit here and uh it's gonna involve l'hopital's rule so you can see if x approaches zero this this part inside here is gonna be one because we have e to the zero is one plus zero is one and then as x approaches zero this one the one over x the one over x well let's write it like this as x approaches zero one over x is going to approach infinity well as 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 x approaches zero from the right and then as x approaches zero from the left one over x will approach negative infinity so we've got one raised to an infinite power and so so how do we go about doing this well i've got i've got several videos with problems like similar to this this is just another one so let's take a look at it so what we're going to do is we're going to start out and we're going to say, say let y equal e to the ax plus x all of that raised to the 1 over x power all right so now let's take the natural log of both sides of both sides of this equation here all right and then we have a logarithm rule that says we can take this exponent here and move it down in front so that's going to be 1 over x times the natural log e raised to the ax plus x which is equal to the natural log of e to the ax plus x over x so all i did from this step to this step was just put say this is time this is over one so when you multiply you get this all right all right so uh, this is going to be good enough because the, the the one way that we can look at this is if we take this zero here and we plug it into this so if you plug zero in for x here you would get well let me just i'm going to come over here to the side this will be the natural log of e raised to the a times zero plus zero over zero which is this is going to be the natural log of one over zero which is zero over zero okay all right <clears throat> so that we got the zero over zero so if we take the limit of the natural log of y then that means we can apply l'hopital's rule so if we take the limit as x goes to zero of natural log y that is equal to the limit as x goes to zero that's not a very good limit there the limit as x goes to zero of natural log e to the ax plus x over x is equal to the limit as x goes to zero all right so now we take the derivative of the numerator derivative of the denominator all right so the derivative of the numerator is e to the ax plus x that goes in the denominator so remember when you're taking the derivative of natural log whatever you're taking the natural log of goes in the denominator derivative of that goes in the numerator so the derivative of e to the ax is e to the ax times the derivative of the exponent plus and then the derivative of x is one and that's over now we're going to take the derivative of the denominator of this x here that's one so that is equal to well, let's come down here so we'll have enough room that is equal to the limit as x goes to zero of 
a e to the a x plus one over e a to the x plus x all right all right so now let's plug the zero in that's a e to the a times zero plus one over e to the a times zero plus zero and so that's going to be a times one okay this is a times a to the zero is one plus one over this is one one plus zero which is a plus one all right so now we've got the limit of natural log y now let's take the limit as x goes to zero of our function here that's the limit of e to the ax plus x raised to the one over x all i did is i just rewrote the problem down all right so this is equal to the limit as x goes to zero of y because remember up here up here i let y equal this so i'm just replacing i'm replacing this part with y all right so now we've got the limit as x goes to zero and this is going to be e to the natural log y all right so let's see where that comes from all right so remember there is a property we're going to come down here there's a property that says the log of uh no that b raised to the log of b of x is equal to x okay and notice what we have up here we have e raised to the natural log of y and remember the natural log of y is the same thing as log of y with base e so remember this is e to the log of y with base e and see when this base and this base are the same your answer is what you're taking the log of so you can see this e and this e are the same so that is equal to y so all i did is i rewrote y which is right here as this okay all right now this is equal to now what's the limit as x goes to zero of natural log y well we did that right here that's a plus one so this is e to the a plus let me write that better e to the a plus one and there's your answer all right so i hope that video helped check out my other videos give me a like share subscribe comment and i will see y'all in the next one later